I just walked through like a spider web. I was like, man, what's that hanging off my arm? The spider. <laughs> so since it's a super slow morning and the rain's coming in, I figured while I was packing up my stuff, I'd do a quick how I set up my stand type of video. I mean, I see a lot of them online. And, you know, a lot of them are the same because, you, you know, you only have so many options with a climbing tree stand anyway. So, uh, so here's my setup. I use a climber. It is an API outdoors climber. I'm not sure exactly what model it is, but it does have a gun rail. As a bow hunter only, when I set it up, I, you know, the, the gap between the top and the bottom is not very high because whenever I stand up with my bow, especially if like a deer is somewhere, you know, in this area at, you know, eight yards, you got to make sure you have space to draw back your bow and be able to dump it down. I use a cheap, I think it was like 40 bucks, uh, Ridge Hunter um, camera arm. That's from Bass Pro Shops. Um, I didn't have one whenever I first got my camera. I didn't have time to order one online. Um, it folds up quick, or it folds up real small, uh, and I put it into my bag. The rope that attaches me to the tree is a Hunter Safety Systems. It actually came like this with the pressic knot that slides up and down. I get to my tree, I get my stuff, you know, I get my tree on this, uh, my stand on the tree, get ready to climb. Uh, and then I put that cord in my pocket. That's actually what I use to attach my tree stand together to itself. Um, but I put that in my pocket and as soon as I get up, the second I get to the height I'm going to get at, I put that around there, around the tree. The reason why I do that is, is because in the very beginning, I would, I would come up, I would pull, you know, I'd get, I'd get set up, I'd have that in my pocket and I'd forget I had it in my pocket. I'd go to pull up my bag and then I would set my bag on the side of my, you know, stand because I actually hook it, um, once I pull my bag up, I just, I have a carabiner on there that has the pull rope, and then I just, you know, hook it onto this, onto the chain that I used to climb the tree with. Um, but what would happen was I'd pull up my uh, bag and I'd set it on the side, and my, then my top would flip over almost, and then it would fall down to the to the bottom platform and make a hellacious amount of noise. So um, that as soon as I get up and get to where I want to set up, to my height anyway. Um, I put that um, pull strap right around it, secure it real tight, and then I'm ready to pull everything else up. Um, this safety, this tether that's in between the two stands, I'm sure everybody's seen them. Um, they have new things now. It's like a strap between the both pieces. I still have one of, the, one of these old strands. Um, but the second I get to my tree um, and get my base on, you know, the top goes on first, but the second I get my base on, the first thing I do is is unhook my, I keep it wrapped around right here. Uh, the first thing I do is, is I un undo that and put it on. The second both pieces are on the tree. Um, my bowl holder is just something I got off of uh, eBay. Um, you can see it has like this plate right here. And this is the one you adjust. It's made for these tree stands with the middle out. Um, uh, it has the plate right there. You just put the bottom piece on, um, and then adjust this to the this the height that you want it. Um, so that's what I did. So my bag is um, I forget what my bag is called actually, but it's not a hunting bag. It is just a regular book bag. Um, I wash it with other stuff, and it has three compartments. So what I do is, is when I think I get up to the certain level, I reach down and grab my rope, pull up, and if my the base of my stand is somewhere around this level or the top of my stand, then I'm like, okay, I'm close enough to 20 feet, I should be okay. Getting into my stand, I mean, this is always open for discussion, but uh, I always have my I have a headlamp that has red on it. I would definitely suggest having a headlamp with, that has a red beam. Um, once I'm getting near my stand I turn on the red beam um, and then from then on it's red beam only and then once I actually have my tree my um, climber attached to the tree 
um, and then I'm ready to climb up, then I turn I turn off the flashlight. I don't use a flashlight at all. So whenever I un unhook from the tree, I throw my strap to the ground right next to my bag so I don't forget it. I have forgotten it before. Something you always want to check from time to time is to make sure the knot or whatever knot you're using to hold your carabiner on it, if that's what you're using, just to make sure that it's secure. Um, I learned that the hard way when I had my bag and my camera bag and everything attached to it and started letting it down and the rope let go. And uh, probably 30 pounds smacked down to the ground. It was awesome. And the best part was is it wasn't when I was uh, packing up for the evening. It was when I was getting set up. So I had to go all the way back down the tree and go all the way back up again. And trust me, it only takes one time for you to have to do that to realize that you need to double check everything so you don't have any issues. Thank you.